Hey, hello everybody. How are you guys doing? We got some very special boxes to open today. These aren't just like any normal boxes. But uh we got some older ones. We have the Tapu Coco box which comes with I believe Fates Collide and Guardians Rising along with a base Sun and Moon pack. Uh, this is a really cool box. I've been wanting to open one of these for a while and we've got the Jirachi GX box which does include one evolutions pack as we can see right here. I am so excited for this. I've been doing Pokemon for about a month and a half maybe two months now ties on. Uh, but anyway this box is way too big to fit on camera it's just insanely huge so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and we'll start with this thing. Actually you know what let's start with the Tapu Coco since it's the smaller one. We shall start with the smaller of the two boxes which is the Tapu Coco box. This is going to be pretty fun I'm excited for it. Uh, what Basically what I did was I bought two of each of these one to just keep in my collection and then uh, one of each to open up for you guys because I've been excited to open up some older stuff so let's crack into these. Nice Spencer that's awesome man. That's awesome. It's such a good set to collect. Brilliant Stars I feel is going to be a set that just continues to increase in popularity and probably honestly go up in value too. I feel like it'll be a good set to collect over the years. There we go. Look at those. Yeah, it is Guardians Rising. Perfect. All right, let's see if we can open this without bending the jumbo card. Oh gosh, they just wedge it in there. There's no good way to take this out. There we go. There it is. Tapu Coco GX Jumbo Card. Uh, I don't really collect the Jumbo Cards too much, but they can be kind of cool. They can definitely be cool. But here's our packs that we have out of this one. And also here is the code card if you guys want it. Let me change the zoom levels or the focus levels. There we go. And unfortunately, it looks like Tapu Coco promo. Ah, uh, they did that thing with this one where it's kind of like uh, these are so tough to get open without damaging the card. We just kind of got, kind of got to pop this out. Oh, I hate these types of boxes. You know, I'll pop that out later because I don't want to damage it. But that's what it looks like. Nice little Tapu Coco promo. Very nice looking card. Well, let's uh, drop this down a little bit. And now we can get into the uh, the actual packs. So we're going to start out with Sun and Moon base set since it is probably the least uh, exciting out of these three. There is the code. I believe it's one, two, three to the front. We got a Passimian. We got a Great Ball. We have a Bulldore, a Growlithe, a Lowland Meowth, Dewpeter, a Lowland Diglett, a Marini, Nest Ball, Incineroar, uh, and oh, I, I did the pack trick wrong. Uh, it was a great ball reverse or a net nest ball reverse actually and the incineroar was actually our rare all right so it's four good to know good to know that it's four to the front for some reason i thought it was three but i guess that's x and y so there's fates collide and uh guardians rising i'm excited for fates collide that's gonna be fun but we got even more insane packs in the next one they're going to be even better than the ones in these. Oh, 
Oh. You know, I always can never remember which uh, ones have the code cards facing one way and which ones have them the other way. Uh, there's our energy. Aether Paradise Conservation Area. Hala. Marini. Shrubbish. Petalil. Chansey. Lowland Vulpix, which I do like a Lowland Vulpix. We got a Pan Sham, a Multi Switch Reverse, and a Sharpedo Non Hollow. Not looking good so far. I'm not sure, Spencer. I haven't opened a lot of these packs before, so I'm not 100% familiar on which one would have the most of the originals. But here we go. Fates Collide. This is going to be a cool one to open up because this is. And uh, uh, once again, wrong way. Okay. Well, we know it's not going to be a hit because that was a green code card, but may maybe this was back when that wasn't a thing. I don't know. Um, uh, is there a energy on the back? No, I don't think so. Uh, Sinchino, Team Rocket's handiwork. I like the way these cards look. Uh, wheezing. That's a cool wheezing. We got Diglett, Minchino, Spoink. Coughing. That's a cool coughing as well. I like that card a lot. That looks really nice. We've got a Cottony. A Minchino Reverse and a Mandibuzz. I've never seen this Pokemon before in my life. Um. Oh, okay. Never, I know which one this is. All right. So that was unfortunately a zero, zero hit 0 for 3 run through the Tapu Koko box. But have no fear, we got the much more impressive box next. For those that were not here when I showed these off in the beginning of this stream, the Jirachi box is like insane. It's got everything. Uh, it's kind of hard to show, but there is like some promo cards. We've got old evolutions over here, which I am so excited about. Let's just get all these packs out. It's so big, there's like no room for everything. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So first things first, we're going to sleeve up these promos. Because there is some cool promos in here. That is a cool Lucario. That thing looks awesome. And then the other promo in here is going to be the Decidueye which is another nice looking one and then we got the Jirachi GX which we'll show next there it is that thing looks cool I like the Jirachi I get my sleeves off Amazon I just get regular ultra pro, uh, ultra pro penny sleeves. All right, here's where things get juicy. Let's uh, get all these packs out of here. Get them all stacked up and we'll start ripping into them. And I just realized I put them upside down. Also, Code card for the uh, GX collection. And here is the two coins. We got the Pikachu coin and then it looks like a Shaman coin. I think. Yeah, it looks like Shaman. Not bad. Those are cool coins. Flip these bad boys around. So we've got Crimson Invasion. Sun and Moon Base, Crimson Invasion, Fates Collide, Evolutions, 
Sun and Moon Base, Crimson Invasion, Sun and Moon Base, Steam Siege, and Breakpoint. A lot of older packs we haven't really opened many of on the channel. Obviously, we're going to do Evolutions last because, let's be honest, everybody loves Evolutions. It's one of the better sets in here. And uh, we'll probably start out with Steam Siege because it's, <sighs> it's considered one of the worst sets ever created in Pokemon. So, yeah. We're going to start out with Steam Siege. We're going to see how this goes. I know, right, bro, bro? It's almost like you just opened some of these. That's, that's crazy. Okay, there's the code card. I never know what direction to pull the code card for these. I'm wondering if maybe I should just not do the pack tricks since I might get confused on some of these. I don't remember all of them. We'll probably just skip the pack trick so I don't accidentally give away the code card coloration before we see it. Or before we go through it. Uh, we got Yanma, Mankey, Mantine, Sneasel, Opip. There's a Joltic. That's such a cool reverse pattern. Why can't they be this nice nowadays? Like, I love that pattern on the reverse. And Spiritomb. And then the last ones we got. Anorith, Halucha, and Duat. Striking out on the first one from this box. Unfortunate. But uh, next up, I think we'll do the Sun and Moon base packs. Then probably Crimson Invasion next. Yes, yeah, so let's get through these uh, Sun and Moon base packs. Oh, we got a Dratini on there. I'm pretty sure Sun and Moon... Okay, yeah, it's like that. And then one, two, three, four? Yeah, four, okay. Uh, we got the Energy, Dragonair, Galbat, Pokemon Catcher, Dratini, Diglett, Bounsweet, Skarmory, Cutie Fly, a Fero Reverse, and Broxish. Man, we are getting rough luck so far. Striking out five packs in a row. Not off to a great start, but, you know, luckily, we still got eight packs to go. That was a stubborn pack there. One, two, three, four. Pretty much, Brobra. We got the Grass Energy, Dartrix, Ow Ow, Wishy Washy. Snubble, Makuhita, Cutie Fly, Drowsy, Rowlet, Sandile Reverse, and Galduck Non Hollow. Not looking good, guys. It's not looking good. Striking out so far. Here we go. Fourth pack of the Jirachi box. No hits so far. Come on. We gotta get something eventually. One, two, three, four. We got the lightning energy. Big Malasada. Pewtious. Yep. Switch. Snubble. Makuhita. Cutie Fly. But that's this is like the same lineup as last one. Drowsy. Rowlet. Oranguru. And a Masquerin. Rough. Really rough. Well, we struck out completely on the Tapu Coco box and all three of the Sun and Moon base and also the uh, Steam Siege. Can Crimson Invasion come through for us? I hope the Evolutions one doesn't strike out. That would be sad. If we can get at least a hollow out of it, I'll be happy.
Okay, so that one's like that. I didn't know. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it should be four. We got the Steel Energy, Staravia, Psychic Memory, Axelgore, Cubone, Weedle, Minchino, Corfish, Ghastly, a Corfish Reverse, and Wigglytuff non hollow. Oh no. We're not doing good, guys. We're not doing good at all. Given. That's a cool Wigglytuff, but. This is rough. Crimson Invasion number two. Come on. Give us something good. One, two, three, four. Come on, man. Lightning energy. Haunter. Lucimin. Luce, Luce, me, Lu. Something. Kakuna. Jameco. Magikarp. Bunnelby. I do like Magikarp, so that's cool. Shellos. Remoraid. Oh, Magikarp Reverse. Magikarp Reverse. Speaking of the devil, there he is. Cactur non hollow. Oh, gosh. Oh, we're getting absolutely wrecked. Guys, we're down to four packs. And we're just getting wrecked. Will we pull anything today? It's hard to say. There's the Crimson Invasion number three. The last Crimson Invasion pack. One, two, three, four. Yeah, bro, bro, pretty much. Uh, to be fair, they, they never... A lot of these older sets don't have as good of pull rates. Except for, like, Evolutions has good pull rates from what I've heard. Lightning Energy. Kakuna. Gastrodon. Devoured Field. Corfish. Ghastly. Houndor. Staryu. Jangmo O? Oh, that's kind of cool. Peeking Red card. And Alolan Marowak Hollow. At least we got a Hollow, right? Alolan Marowak Hollow. Kind of cool. It's at least something worth uh, putting in a penny sleeve. At least we finally got something. It's a cool card. I like it. And then I'll probably sleeve up that Magikarp as well, because that, that's a good reverse. A Magikarp reverse. Everybody loves Magikarp. So that guy gets a sleeve as well. Yeah, bro, bro. It fits your criteria. It's on to the final three, though. Breakpoint, Fates Collide, and Evolutions. The three XY packs. Obviously, we're doing Evolutions last. But, uh, which one should we do next, guys? Should we open up Fates Collide or Breakpoint first? Which one would you guys prefer to see opened up next? It'll be tomorrow, Eric. Yeah, Kyla, some of the new ones are a little strange. Breakpoint? Okay, you guys want Breakpoint, it looks like. Let's open up Breakpoint. That opened up so easily. Why can't all the packs open this easily? Okay, so that slides off like that. I'm just trying not to give away the code card color yet. Rex and White's three, I believe. Yeah, it should be three to the front. We'll do three just to be safe. Um, All Night Party. Scissor Spirit Link. Perugly. Esper. Rowlith. Shelter. Gibble. I do love me some Gibble. Phantump. A, a Phantump Reverse. And... Aegislash Hollow. Okay, that's not bad. That That's not bad, actually. An a Aegislash Hollow is not bad at all. It's better than what we've been getting, so I'll take it. It's pretty sad when, like, this is one of the best things we pulled all day. But I'll take it. At least it's not a complete L. 
At least it's something. So next up, it's time for Fates Collide. What do I do with the normal cards? Pretty much just store them away in boxes. Usually in like uh, boxes I've opened, like some of the um, old trainer boxes or booster boxes I've opened. I just put all the uh, the bolt cards in there. Typically, I'll bag them up and then put them in there. Okay, so this is like that. Here we go. One, two, three. Fossil Excavation Kit, uh, Wormadam, Zygarde, Larvitar is one of my favorites too, I love Larvitar, Spoink, Coughing, Vullaby, Ryolu, Larvitar Reverse, hey, asking you will receive, and Exploud Non-Hollow. I'm gonna sleeve up that Larvitar though. That's a cool reverse to get. If I'm gonna get a uh, reverse, might as well make it something cool like that, you know? <sighs> now the moment we've all been waiting for. Can we possibly pull one of the big hitters out of here? Please. Please. Got a seal reverse in yours? <sighs> Let's see what we can pull out of it. Uh, what way is the code card facing in evolutions? Do you, do you remember, uh... You know, I'm just gonna close my eyes and pull it off. That way I'm not spoiled. That way I don't spoil the surprise for me. Three to the front. We got the, uh, the double colorless energy. Professor Oak's hint. We got Metapod. We got Seal. We got Magikarp, that's a cool one. We got our Energy card. We got our Caterpie. We got our Ghastly. A Energy Retrieval Reverse. And, ah, Eradicate non Hollow. Oh gosh. It hurts. It hurts. We didn't get anything above a Hollow this whole opening. I can't end on a note like that, guys. Like, I can't end like that. We gotta, we gotta open something else. We can't end on a bad note like that. I was gonna save this for another opening, but considering I got a, I got a couple other things that we can open up later. Let's open this up. This is the brand new Pikachu V, uh, where is it? Pikachu V box. So this has two brilliant stars and two fusion strike. Then we got the Mimikyu promo, the Pikachu V promo. Let's open this up. I was going to open it up for you guys anyway, so we might as well do it right now. Can't end on that, end on that onto a Brilliant Stars booster box. I wish I had one of those with me, man. I would definitely be opening it up if I had another. I'm waiting for them to go a little bit, like go down in price a little bit more. Then I'll probably buy some more. Here we go, though. We'll get the promos out later. There is the Jumbo Pikachu card. Pretty cool looking. And here we go with the packs. Brilliant Stars always comes through for us. I got faith it will this time, too, and I haven't opened much Fusion Strike, so I'm actually kind of excited to open a couple of these. This is a set I really haven't touched too much, but... This might be kind of cool if we can maybe get some. I do read the live chat, but not as much when I'm opening up uh, cards. I typically just read the chat um, when I'm playing games. Like during the normal gaming streams, I read the chat all the time. But because we're opening up cards, I don't do it as much. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's like this. Because most of the time, I'm just focusing on the card openings. Or to the front. We got the Fighting Energy, Garbodor, Frost Switcher, Breloom, Willfish, Galarian Corsola, Baltoy, uh, Minin, 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 Panseer. We got a Drillbur, Perverse, and Vicavolt Non Hollow.
Yeah, Christian. I'm actually surprised at how uh, affordable some of those are nowadays. Thank you, Orange. I appreciate that, dude. Here we go with another fusion strike. You know, I really need to open up some more fusion strike. It's a set I really have not done uh, much with. There's the fire energy. Lop honey. Low honey. Lop honey. Farewell bell. Nine tails. Drillber. Caterpie. Shelter. Zoroa. Tynamo. Do Peter reverse and Palisand. We're getting wrecked. <laughs> uh, it depends, Afro Gamer. We're opening up a lot of different packs, so it kind of varies per um per pack. But a lot of times if you get something that says like GX or V or V Max or V Star or is like rainbow or gold, that's typically what the good ones would be. Okay, so these are that way. They keep changing the direction of the code cards from set to set. It bugs me. Got a Steel Energy, Staravia, Berry, Clang, Spiritomb, Purloin, Milsery, Shinx, Impidimp, a Dredagon Reverse, and ah, there we go, Kingler VMAX. Dude, you can always count on Brilliant Stars to just come through for you. This is one I wanted to. I really wanted the Kingler. That's awesome. <laughs> Finally. Dude, I'm telling you, Brilliant Stars is just the best set out. Every time we open it, we get something half decent. There we go. Finally. Yeah, Brober, it's a good VMAX. It's really good. Um, on to the final card, or final pack. Please. Can we get back to back for Brilliant Stars? If we get back to back, I'm probably just gonna open Brilliant Stars the rest of my life and nothing else. I mean, obviously I'll open other stuff, but you get what I mean. It's just crazy how good Brilliant Stars is. Water Energy. Monferno. That's a cool Monferno, by the way. I like that. Gloria, Dusclops, Carablast. But Fairy, Cheruby, Sock, Corfish, got our Breloom, and we got Garchomp Hollow. Not bad. <laughs> I mean, Brilliant Stars did better than anything else we opened, so I'll take it. I like Garchomp, so I'm okay with that one. Well, guys, not a very amazing opening hit-wise. I mean, we had a few good cards, but nothing crazy. We had our Garchomp Hollow, our Kingler VMAX, uh, the Larvitar Reverse, an Aegislash Hollow, a Magikarp Reverse, a Lolan Marowak Hollow, uh, and then these are the promo cards from the Jirachi box. So all in all, not a great opening. Not, not nearly what I was hoping for. But I'm just happy I got to open some of the older packs and see some cards I haven't seen before. Because for a lot of these, this was the first time I've opened them. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and end the stream there, guys. I hope you all enjoyed that. It was uh, quite a fun opening to do, and we'll, of course, do more of these in the future. Uh, maybe on some older sets again, but I think the next one I do will probably be related to a newer set. Most likely Brilliant Stars or something like that. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. and We'll be back in two days with another Call of the Wild stream. Peace!